Seen and heard. Seen and heard. We're yes. going to um, just preface this by saying uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like us, please subscribe. And um, we hope that you are entertained by our long and unprofessional videos. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, we are still trying to get out of Newport. And this video is just about getting to Newport. Uh, we really enjoyed um, staying here at Pacific Shores. Uh, sure. We are still trying to sell the two lots that we purchased. Um, they they do cost dues every month, and so that's uh, all the traveling money uh, goes into this instead of um, going somewhere else. Yeah, things didn't turn out quite the way we thought, so we need to get rid of them. Then we'll be traveling and having more video. Yeah. Yay. Our plan is to um, turn this back into the traveling welding machine that we really kind of envisioned in the beginning um, back when we had a house and we weren't thinking we were going to live in the RV because um, uh, bottom line that's a mm. skill that Mike <clears throat> is just really really I mean really oh, good yeah. at yeah. and he enjoys doing it and um, you know being a on, on the road sales people has not worked out for the yeah. best for us um, it's a little hard um, we're a little bit. Uh, I just don't like it. It's just not good. Some people are salespeople. Some people are not. That would be us. Not. Not salespeople. Yeah, we're just yeah, not smooth. And you know, customer service. Yeah, we can do if it's in a certain situation, but not just cold calling on the road. I um, frankly will not miss that no. at all, and would like to do something just a little bit more solid. You know. Um, so we're getting into work camping as well. Huh. We're looking at a, a really cool place um, in the high desert that we've uh, we've been to before, um, not in our RV, uh, long ago when we were traveling with the kids in our um, 66 Chevelle Wagon Deluxe. Yeah. That was a cool car. Yeah, it was. So here it is. We, um, we arrived in Newport, and we've been here for a while. And we took a short trip, and oh. um, yeah, that's uh, about it. Doing our thing here, working out of our rig, whatever, getting along. Now it's time to get along somewhere else. Yeah, Yay. we definitely are ready to get out of here. And frankly, um, there's a, a few people on the board of uh, the HOA board here that really don't want people staying here as much as we do they mm. they really don't they want people who are you know who still own a home somewhere else they don't want this to be a main living place for people so you know it is what it is we've yeah. we've enjoyed it and it's given us the opportunity to learn our rv indeed indeed in relative safety yeah, in a relatively safe place. It's stuck good. on the side of the road or something, you know. Yeah. That's no good. I I, I felt too uh, too intimidated at first to um, you know just go boondocking without knowing a single thing <laughs> about our RV. We yeah. Feel, we feel better about that now. 
So, anyway. There you go. Here we are. night and our awning got torn off. It was so scary. It made a lot of noise. It's just a flap left up here and it's really noisy. The thing itself, the awning itself, is right there. Uh, it's still here but wow. Okay, back in the house. Cause, huh. Pacific storm. Yeah, that was loud about 3 o'clock in the morning. Bang! Crash! The whole rig shook. It was right. gnarly. Awning came off, whipped around the back of our vehicle, and smacked into the pedestal back there. Just destroyed the landline hookup on it. Smash. Smash. The internet, on the other hand, on, it's on the other side of it. <laughs> so, we're good there. Yay, we have internet. <laughs> power's no problem, but... We didn't need a phone anyway. It's too care. We're all sucked in. The sides are just yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're all clustered in back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that we did too. Mike oh, got up in the man. middle of the night and um, and we yeah. we just I heard the wind starting and we could have had them all peeled off. Yeah, and. It's better to have had it, the awning come off like this because what we're figuring at this point is that uh, if we'd gone down the road on our first trip like we were planning to, if the weather hadn't been so great around here lately, we'd have gone down to the desert. But if we'd been rolling down the road with our awning like this, may have come off and and if it whipped around the same in the same fashion would have smacked right into our toad yeah. Yeah. so this is actually a good thing absolutely love this little fan this um, endless breeze 12 volt plugs right in the chassis I because you know I just need a fan a lot <laughs> and we just discovered it's got these neat old little hooks that just go right on over your window and it just hangs here. It's, it's nice and smooth so it's not hurting the screen. Isn't that neat? Oh and it's so nice and cool. The ocean spray that's coming in right now is really nice. And a genuine ocean spray. <laughs> this is nice and cool.
RV vacuum ever. This is amazing. The sh here, just shark. The Ooh, there we go. Shark. Mm. Okay, we're looking at the um, ghastly LED that <laughs> <laughs> that the shop put in, <clears throat> and then down there at the other end, it's too big. We ordered one that was too big, but. Uh, it is the right color of light. Check it out. That's what we told the shop to put in. Is this? It, it looks like uh, I don't know if it's translating to camera at all, but in person it looks just like a flir um, an incandescent bulb. It's actually white. And it's LED. It's Instead it's uh, a nice nice color. But this one over yes. here is, blue. is this blue <laughs> and much less bright. Yeah much less bright. You could see the blue on the wood as you held that up there. Oh, there we go. See the reflection up in the bottom of the cabinet right there is a nice white, yellow white. And when you hold it up here, you can see it's blue. It's purpley blue. Yeah. <clears throat> That's how it will translate. There we go. Oh, and then all yeah. the overheads that ghastly blue light Right. Well. So it is possible, yeah, all of the lights and the whole thing was were supposed to be the the more expensive but worth it um, yellowy looking white ones, right? Not even more expensive. These are the same price. I could have got yeah. any color I wanted for the same price. And uh, many of them have been taken out at this point because they just weren't working at all. They start flickering maddeningly. Yeah, flickering maddening, maddeningly, oh yeah. You two were showing up here? Yeah, hi. How you doing? This uh, Stanley. Stanley, I'm Joanne. Mike. Joanne hi there. Stanley, do you guys have a channel? Um, you don't mind no, if I film you guys, because but... this is a trip. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I, I thought you had that with a thing that went down to the ground, like a uh, thing to hold it up or something. Well, no, those, those slides there are 350 pounds a piece capacity. Wow. <laughs> They're like for a great big toolbox, right? Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, this is a trip. Yeah, this is a... Mm. Were you guys thinking about... Uh, well, I, I've got two... <laughs> it's kind of a joke system I've got now. I've got two uh, panels 
right. two 100 watt panels on a there fifth wheel. That'll make sense. And some... then um, I got two batteries. I got right. two interstate batteries. But right. I want to leave the interstate batteries in there to run DC. And then what I'm going to plan on doing is uh, eat, I'll probably take those two solar panels and see if I can build on them and then put some, yeah. get some AGMs. Right, yeah. Those are, that's what I got. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you got four, six volts to run your. I have eight of them, actually. And then another four, six volts on another several panels. They're actually, they meet together. They're, oh. It's two. Yeah, so eight of them? Yeah. So the whole thing's 24 volt together. So oh, about 500 okay. amp hours at 24 volts. Yeah. So, you know. Runs everything in your trailer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can run both ACs. When the sun's shining, I can run both ACs, no problem. So, yeah, I got a uh, Ames. I think it's an Ames yes. inverter. Yes. I got two of them. That's good. Those that's are a good inverter. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that's Those are thought, awesome. Man. Anything other than that is, it Junk? just doesn't have the power. Only got, Ames well, has right the power. Right now, I've only got yeah. a 2,000 watt one. You probably got a uh, 220. I got a, yeah, I got the, the 6,000 watt split phase. Yeah, that's good. Where did you put all of your batteries? <laughs> Mike that's put up this right. nifty. Uh... Oh, there you go. Gizmo. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 In a pizza box. In a pizza, pizza box, box, which is about to go away. So. It's about to go away. Yeah, dude. Said we could just hook it right up to this. Alkaline water machine. It oh. works very nifty. You can get it from Nova Vitamins on Nova. Facebook. So I'm just going to drive right up on the dolly. <laughs> uh, and hopefully not go over. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take it out of gear and and then turn it off <laughs> and leave the, of course, we leave the, um, we leave it out of gear and we leave the, um, what do you call it off? Uh, there must have been a bug on my pants. Was that a bug? Thanks, honey. That was, rescues me from bugs. Okay, so could I let off the brake now? Yeah. All right. So, whoa. All right. So the emergency brake is not on. It's in neutral. <clears throat> Just stow and secure everything. Lock it in place. <laughs> yep. It's a pretty rustic campground and there was a just a great big rock right there as we pulled out. Yeah, hit right here too, look at bent the angle iron. We almost made it out without a scrape until the very last yep. moment we were there, leaving. just as we were leaving. <laughs> Thing leaned over a little too far in the soft dirt. <laughs> Big rock right there. Uh. 
What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? The answer to life, the universe, and everything is 42. <laughs> okay.